Guys, I went live earlier and I was having some computer issues. So basically what I'm going to do here is record it in case I have video issues again. <clears throat> um, so what I was saying earlier on, on the live is uh, this gentleman by the name of Brad Barton, giving credit to him, he actually recorded uh, as it was happening live that night um, on the news. I believe it was either election night or the day after. And he was going through and recording different things. And, well, maybe even not recording it, he noticed it. So then he probably rewound it and, and recorded it. So <clears throat> just because he saw, whoa, what, what just happened here? So I'm going to play it. You're going to see that Trump's numbers uh, are going to switch. So right now you can see at this point, in the game, anyway, he was at, at the time, 1,690,000, okay, and then some odd votes. And Biden was at 1,252,000 and some odd votes. So I'm going to hit play here, and you're going to see that once this scrolls around, it's going to change, okay? I'm going to try and make this quick because I have a client coming, so I don't want to take up any of their time. Okay, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I messed it up, I guess. So right, here we, we go. go. He's got 1.69 right now. See? I don't know if you can Trump's see it. Trump's got 1.69 right now. Are you seeing that? Biden's got 1.252. I'm going to let it play. Here we go. Got to wait it out because it's going to scroll back around to Pennsylvania. It's going to go through to, like, to Wisconsin and start alphabetically all over again. So remember that number, 1,690,000. Okay. And Biden had 1252, I believe it was. Watch it. Oh, hold on, we're going to go to Michigan next, I believe. Yep. Um, we're focusing on Pennsylvania. That's where the biggest problem is right now. So anybody that's saying this is not true, it absolutely is. Look at that. Bam, right there. Trump went from 1.690589 to the next update. 1.670631. That is a loss of 19,958 votes. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. I, I have the calculators up. I'm going to show you what happens here. So Trump's right here. I don't screw this up. We're going to go from, we're going to subtract seven, 1670. Okay, minus 1670, 631. That's 19,958. So we're going to go over here to Biden's calculator. I have two calculators up, one for Trump, one for Biden. All right, we're going to bring Biden's up. Just for shits and giggles, we're going to add 19,958 to Biden's, okay? Plus 19,958. Look at that, okay? See that number? We added Trump's to Biden's just for shits and giggles. Look at that. 12. 72495. 172495. So anyone that's saying that this is not true, the Democrats are saying they have no evidence of fraud. That is not true. You need to share this video. All right. Peace out. Shalom. Kahalo Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Give honors to the elders in Israel that rule well. So you saw that there. Either way, whether it's false, whether it's true, whether that's some genuine doctrine, it doesn't really matter. It'll be used by either side to promote, look at these conspiracy theorists. Oh, look at how they're trying to, trying to get rid of our Trump. It's going to just lead to more sedition among people and really that tension and that, that love waxing cold from all people. So this is Second Ezra chapter 15, start, part, start 16. For there shall be sedition among men, and if they do one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it could be they don't, either side don't accept the president currently or the one to come. They think it's illegitimate, however it pans out. It, it really doesn't matter, because it's all working for the Lord's purpose. This word's got to come true, whatever. So we don't really mind which way it goes. We just want, we just want this to speed up, and then we want our kingdom to come, man. I'm kind of sick of this place. I say kind of. We're very sick of this place. This place not only being Babylon the Great, but being this whole earth that's under the wine 
under the wine of Babylon. This is um, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse, we'll start at 4, Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, the soul which is lifted up is not, not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, and wine is talking about a doctrine in a lot of contexts in this, throughout the scripture. Said, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. All nations, because he wants all nations to drink of that wine of the wrath of the fornication. Uh, Revelation 18 and 3, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her de delicacies. Them boy there are drunk, but not with wine. Yes, see it. So let's, um, where were we, where were we? About sedition. Mm-hmm. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Oh, drop my phone on my head. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And the sword is not talking only about a, li about a literal sword. It will mean every everyone's going to roll through the Japanese katana. It's just talking about a weapon, a carnal implement. Verse 20. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Libanus, to turn themselves one against another, and repay the things that they have done to them. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom, saith Adonai Yahweh or Adawan Yahweh. My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. And that's this is just what we want to highlight. Like when we do this day to the Lord's chosen. So with the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, do unto thee recompense in your, in your bosom, even double, for some of honor. So yeah, the Lord, the Lord's not mocked. What a man sows actually reap, even double. For some. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. However them try to flip it, however them try to spin it, it's all working for the Lord's purpose. So with that, double honours to the elders in Israel that rule well. Shalom, Kaohalal, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.